You know, I've not, I've not been politically active until this election. And the reason I've been politically active this election is because I think if we don't, if we don't like Trump, I think we, I think we will lose, uh, we, will act, we will lose democracy in this country. We will, we will lose the two-party system. Um, and I, I'll explain why. So there's, there's only like six, six or seven swing states. The, the, the margin of victory in those states is small, often like 10 or 20,000 votes. Um, what the, the Democrat administration has been doing is importing vast numbers of illegals into swing states. Um, you can look at the numbers on the actual government uh, website. I mean, you don't take my word for it. You'll just look, look at the numbers as reported by the government, which is controlled by the Democrats. Um, and, and what we're seeing is triple-digit increases in the number of illegals in every swing state. In some cases, 700% increases. These are, these are gigantic numbers. Um, so if you, if, you, if you have a state that, was, that, that, went, that, that has a 10 or 20,000 vote margin, and you put 200,000 illegals into that state, you 10x the, the you, you swamp the, it's, it's not a swing state anymore. It's going to vote blue. And then, and then once the swing states vote blue, that the, there there is no election anymore. It's there's only a Democrat primary, which is so crazy. I pull forty five percent of the voter in the state of Illinois, thirty seven in the city of Chicago. That's the statistic. That means that Illinois is turning purple. We're gonna turn red. Y'all can bird dog me all y'all want, but if y'all is if it's relationship over duty, then y'all don't serve the blue. And you can smirk all you want. Mr. Sims, direct your attention towards me, please. You're a criminal. Why do I got to address you? The feds need to address you. DOJ need to address you. And, pro and hopefully Donald Trump will address you because you're going to protect the undocumented. Why are you going to allow for the citizens in the Chicago to suffer under your, what, 33 percent? Well, see, Joe Lopez cooked that 3 percent up a long time ago. Y'all call it a circuit breaker. Y'all been talked about it. Remember, before you came in here and gave that jovial speech, you need to be inspected. You ain't that creep over there. Acting like, you know, you just gonna bully everybody. You got people, what, officers who families don't even want you to come to the funeral. <clears throat> you just like a schoolyard bully. That at some point, and you might not know nothing about it because you grew up in LG. But those of us who grew up on the south side and west side of Chicago, we all know at some point that bully gets cornered in the alley and everybody come at him and he ain't gonna have nobody to help him. That's you. That's you. Keep thinking you ain't gonna, <laughs> you ain't gonna abide by what the president of the United States said. Everybody know better than that. I see you, Anna Valencia, in your red. You know what it is. This is the second time you showed up in city council in red. You know what it is? Yeah. Yeah. So you and the rest of them that know what time it is, y'all come on. You leave that loser where he is. He's a loser. He's a loser. No, me and Zoe, we ain't doing nothing for nobody except for ourselves. We got you, loser. 14% rating is what you appear to have, Brandon Johnson, across the United States or how they see you. But... 14% rating. Now, I'm going to talk about all your, those known donations of $11.5 million that came from places like the CTU, the SEIU, the American Federation of Teachers, Illinois Federal uh, Federation of Teachers, and then someone got the nerve to get on there and talk about cutting uh, the pensions. What about our real estate? Because, see, we paid for these properties for a purpose and not for you to go touching it with $300 million that you want to siphon out of the citizens' pockets. Get rid of the illegals, and that'll take your money right back. Start it off with that. That's the type of channel that feeds you pills where, you know, they perpetually give you uh, a little bit of something and make you feel like, you know, um... Well, you know, I guess ain't nothing going to change. So we just sit here and just, you know, uh, just just do nothing about it. Then you have other people who will tell you that the manager doesn't have any sort of real world implications in this, that, and the other. 
anybody with these philosophies, these outlooks, and this, that, and the other is, is full of shit. Because as you can see, all it took was black men to wake up and not, you know, be in this little think tank mode and actually move towards something, which is quote unquote a movement. That's what mobilization is. And that's exactly what we did. You know, now you're hearing people that you wouldn't even imagine use our talking points. Just a couple months ago, we were worried about us being shut down. I'm talking about everybody, this whole space. We were dealing with channels being uh, fucked. We are dealing with censorship. We are dealing with, you know, all kinds of different things and stuff like that. And now, you know, we just dragging nuts. So it's just something to really, really uh, think about as far as specifically and tangibly and not just sit idly by and just let the world just do what it want to do, uh, you know, you can actually do something about it. Fuck um, it's one of those things where you kind of, you know, I want to make sure I congratulate the brothers for being purposeful with their vote and uh, even the platforms that uh, galvanize brothers together. And even if, even if they're not in this space and they don't necessarily spend a lot of time listening to our content, the message spilled outside of the manosphere and it start to spill over into other spaces. So, uh, really, I'm proud of proud of the brothers for for really standing on the man, knowing that we were. Uh, or we are a minority from a cultural standpoint, uh, we still were able to get the message to spill over into other spaces where brothers could hear the message. And even if they didn't know where they quite heard it at, they still had the confidence to go out and vote uh, in opposition to Keisha. The one thing I want the brothers to really be mindful of, number one, is there's a lot of grifters. I see a lot of females online uh, talking about how um, talking about how happy they are that Trump won, but Exactly. You know, that, 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 uh, to me, they grift and they probably voted for Kamala and then they just following along and trying to be on the winning team. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of, it's a lot of females that, uh, are already trying to get their chameleon on and hide, hide amongst the winners. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the other thing too, as Trump really started getting some straightening from a government standpoint and these DEI programs start going the way of the dodo bird. And these these underperformers start getting kicked out of uh, start getting kicked out of out of out of these companies. I want the brothers to really be primed and ready to to step into those roles, man. So I don't want to say that it's too late to, to to really get on your p's and q's and start hammering at it. But even me me and brother Saul was talking earlier today, man. It's this is something that you know we we, we the brothers who know have been primed the whole time, so that when opportunity come, you know we can pounce on it. So. One brothers to look at their workplace a little bit different. Make sure your LinkedIn is up to date. Make sure that you have, uh, make sure, and not only that, make sure that your resumes are uh, not just updated, but you've updated them multiple times using artificial intelligence to go through and figure out, you know, where you need to add certain things, where you need to take things away. Making sure that your network is up to par. You're reaching out to people that you've worked with along the way to, you know, even, even if it's just to say hello, this is the this is the background work that needs to be done so that you'll be prompt to step into them roles and step into them positions or even be scouted away from one company to go to another one to make more money bro this is what this is what this is how it can directly benefit you if you are ready to step into that uh into those opportunities that that you've actually created for yourself well play sir that's, the, that's why yeah that's why i wanted to yeah, get the perspective y'all niggas put it down Contract the same line of question. I just want to air this out for the public record. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear it directly from the black men's voices. We've been hearing it all in the mainstream media all week. The black men who voted for Trump. So let's hear it from the, from uh, some black men who voted for Trump and how it feels.